More than half of information presently available on the internet was generated by AI, and it's expected to get much worse. We are entering a new dark age, and there's more reasons than one behind it. We'll talk about it. One that many of us are aware of is the loss of old information. In fact, over 38% of web pages that used to exist in 2013 no longer do. Much of the internet archive that had existed in the form of literature and social media is now no longer being maintained because of cost. We see that with the loss of Cartoon Network's website. MySpace lost 12 years of information from their website, and that includes memorial pages. But it's a lot more insidious than that. Websites like Sci-Hub and the Wayback Machine attempt to keep this information available, not just behind a paywall, but stored at all. And the true owners of that information have filed lawsuits. The Internet Archive, which has had its share of lawsuits too, store 145 petabytes of information, and they keep two copies. This loss is one of the reasons that CDs are making a comeback, because you can't guarantee that film, literature, and art will continue to be available to you. But the other truly insidious thing is that the information that's being generated, the new information, isn't real. In only a couple of years of AI being widely available, we've seen around 6% of news articles being written by AI, but it's far worse than that. 57% of all the text you see online has been funneled through AI. Some projections have said by next year, 90% of the text you see online will be generated. Welcome to the Dark Ages. AI is ruining the internet for everyone.